KJ here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Coach Katie Satchel. This satchel is from the outlet. I was looking at it for a while and I saw it on a few other channels, but I never went ahead and purchased it until it went to the clearance section. Y'all, there's certain bags on like the Coach website that I like, but I'm not willing to pay full price for it. So I just kind of keep checking back to see when it finally goes to clearance. And then once it goes to clearance, that's when I pounce on it. So that's what I did with this particular bag, okay? So we're gonna look at the satchel and then I went ahead and picked up the charm, okay? So first let's open this satchel and see what it's looking like. And I've never seen it in person. Um, so I just took a chance and I was like, how bad can it be? It's a great solid red color and it's in the color Miami Red. And I do have a couple other items um, that are in the Miami red color. Oh, wow. So far, I really like this beautiful leather. Guys, I'm gonna take off these straps because I know I'm gonna keep this bag. I mean, it's a red bag. How can you go wrong with the color? And oh, that's so cute. I love when Coach puts on these key tags that are made of like a gold or silver and not that leather one. I like the leather one too, but I really like when they're of a metal. I don't know, it's just, it's just something about those metal tags that I really like. I'm gonna go ahead and take the plastic off of this tag and I'm gonna try to do it without scratching it so it can have no scratches on it at all. So there you go, I took that off. And y'all, I love how all these handbags come with straps, but to be honest, I never carry a strap. So I honestly have a whole closet full of straps that go with the bags and I never get rid of the straps because you just never know when you need it. But I honestly never, but maybe I will with this one because this one actually isn't too big to be a crossbody. Some um, brands are giving you straps for your bag and the bag is like huge. And it's like, I would never carry that as a crossbody. I just carry it in my hand as a top handle bag. But the strap is actually really cute. So I might give it a go. I'll probably adjust this because there's some adjustable pieces there. Let me change this. And I'm short, so I'm gonna put it on the, the shortest length because I don't need it super long. And I like how, actually, this is cute because here I changed it to the, the shortest length, but then you see how this strap is just hanging? They actually have a little piece down here that you can slide up so that it's staying in place. So I actually really do appreciate that. And as time goes on, this piece will get flat, I'm sure. So here we go. I'm gonna take all these little pieces off as well. And I love the gold hardware on here. I think they did a really good job with that hardware. And I think honestly, y'all, Coach is showing us, especially like the Coach outlet, the Coach retail is great as well. I just feel like some of their prices are too expensive for what they're selling. And not to say that Coach doesn't deserve to be expensive. I think they have proven to stand the test of time. So I get where they're going with their pricing, but I feel like their pricing isn't enough, the pricing isn't good enough for me to just jump and buy a bag from the retail store. Um, I honestly sometimes prefer for their retail items to go, to go to the Coach Outlet and then I'll shop it under the Coach Reserve section. So that's my personal preference. I'm taking all this stuff off. And so here you see it. And there's the tag still back on here. And like I said, I got this on clearance. So I can't remember the exact price y'all, but it was it was under a hundred dollars. Like how can you beat that? Under a hundred dollars, has the little feet on the bottom. Beautiful um, gold hardware. And then you have a little zipper here, which is, uh-oh, maybe, maybe I pulled it too hard. Okay, so yeah, this little zipper, hold on, let me kind of, sometimes with these zippers when they're stiff, I just kind of go back and forth a few times to loosen it up. And then I don't have any problems with it. So let me do that a couple times and then to get it where it's nice and smooth. Maybe it's the angle that I'm pulling it. Hold on. Let me see. There we go. 
Okay, there we go. Now, I, now it closes. And inside, this is really cute. Y'all, I'm really pleased with this. I didn't, I didn't think I would love it this much, but I love, um, I love the color. And I love the shape of it. It reminds me of the arm. Because I was like, I should actually pull out my extra armor bag. And y'all, it's old. Like, this is the old one. But the old Louis Vuitton is so good, right? It's so good. So, this is the Coach Katie satchel. And this is the Louis Vuitton Alma. And as you can see, same concept here. Okay, still with the double zip on both sides. The only thing is Louis Vuitton has this little lock here, which honestly you probably could even get a gold lock of some sort off of Amazon. And that would actually be really cute to put a little um, a little gold lock here. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but how cute would a little lock be on the end of this bag? Very cute. Okay, so there's the comparison there. And there's something on this one. I don't I don't keep my bags in dust bags. I know everybody else does, but I don't keep them in dust bags, y'all, because if I keep it in a dust bag, I won't carry it because I won't know I have it. So I take all of them out of the dust bags, okay? So here we go. Here is the the little this is so cute. The little charm. Okay, I didn't, I wasn't expecting this to be that cute because y'all, this is the first handbag charm I've actually ever purchased from Coach. Um, I just thought when I first, when they first came out, I was like, oh, that's silly. Who needs that? And they're expensive, right? I feel like this was, it wasn't as expensive as the purse, but it might as well be because it wasn't cheap either for what it is. It's a tiny little charm. But I kind of understand why they are charging so much for these little charms, honestly. And I can't even say this will be the last time I purchase one of these charms because how cute is this? Oh, I hate when this all this wrapping on there, but I'm glad they wrapped it up nicely. Oh, y'all. Taking this little tag off here. How cute oh so cute honestly i could just stare at this this makes a really cute keychain now mind you these little bags are like i want to say 50 something dollars you might get lucky and find them on sale like during a 20 percent off sale for like 20 percent off so make like 40 something dollars but still 40 dollars for a little tiny charm and you can see this is the palm of my hand it's literally like, and I don't have big hands, okay? So it really is almost fitting in the palm of my hand. Um, if I open this, the wrapping is inside. But this is large enough to fit coins inside. You can put your AirPods inside. There's a lot of stuff that actually could fit in this. That is so cute. So now I can see why they charge so much for this. Because honestly, keychain and charm, I mean, it has a lot of function and honestly my first impression of it is it's expensive because it's so it's well made it's so tiny and they did a very good job of making it look exactly like the mama bag okay so like this is the mom this is the baby they did a good job of making it look like all the leather all the um even down to like this right here you see how there's a little I don't know if you can see it. There's a little piece here, a little metal piece. They went and put the little metal pieces on this one as well. How cute. Only difference is the little, the little charm doesn't have a zipper on the back. And how cute would that have been if they put a zipper? But I mean, maybe that would have made it too complicated to make these. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add, and honestly, I might take this little ring off because that's not really necessary. I'm definitely not carrying this um, as a keychain, even though you could, but I didn't just pay 50 something dollars to put my keys on it. I want it to be a charm for my bags. Um, so let's go ahead and clip this on. And I think I'm gonna put it on maybe the side across from the 
from the other charm. I'm not sure, y'all. Hold on. I'm not sure how I should do this. Maybe if I weave it through here. No, that's not going to do it. Hold on. Should I do like that and have it hanging? Super cute. You honestly also could hang it from here, but this, if you hang it from here, that might be too low. So I think honestly, it looks really good hanging like so. And I'll kind of stand up. And like I said, I will probably use it as a satchel. And so just like a top handle bag. But I do like that they give you the option with a strap. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that strap on just so you can see what that would look like as a crossbody. So I'm assuming these would then go down. You would then put this over like so. Let me move it back a little bit. Hold on guys. Super cute. But guys, this is good if you know you're gonna be shopping a lot and you don't want a bag in your hand. But I just imagine for myself, for my own personal liking, I can see myself carrying it as a crossbody. I mean, not a crossbody, as a satchel, like on my on the crook of my arm. And how cute! And honestly, it's not moving a whole bunch either. For some reason, I thought the charm would just be spinning around somewhere. But look how it's staying in place, actually. Very cute. Y'all, Coach did an awesome job with these charms. I'm actually glad I purchased this one. And I'm looking forward to purchasing, purchasing some more mini charms from Coach, especially the ones that they have the bag to match like they did with this Katie satchel. Um, and I did know when I purchased this charm, it said like only five left in stock. I don't know how true that is when they say that stuff. Um, but my issue with all of this, y'all, and tell me if y'all have an issue with this as well. When you are just someone who likes to shop, you like to go on the website, see what you like, and order it. And if you don't like it, you return it. We're getting to a point, I guess it's been like this for a while, where people are buying these items just to sell it on eBay. So if you go on eBay, they're selling this charm for like $80. The charm only goes for $55. At a certain point, it's like, y'all, just stop trying to make money off of everything. Everything, everyone doesn't need you buying up all of the stuff that we're, we're we wanting to buy just to even use for our own personal, um, our own personal use. A lot of us just like shopping and shopping what we're actually going to use. We don't shop to resell. So a lot of you resellers are taking the inventory from us just regular old shoppers and we can't get our hands on the items that we like. So please stop doing that. I understand everybody has their, their hustle. But buy one item that you're going to resell. Don't go in there and buy a whole bunch of stuff to resell. And then we're all out here looking for some items because you decided you're going to buy 10 of them and sell them on eBay. Anyway, enough of my rant for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Once again, the Katie Satchel and this was the Alma. They still make these from Louis Vuitton. This one, this Alma has to be like maybe 12, 13 years old. It's very old. But they, it's a classic because if you go on the Louis Vuitton website, they're still selling Amas, okay? And this is in the Epi leather. Um, so I love this one. I do carry it quite a bit. Um, but I am looking forward to now carrying my Katie satchel. Guys, if you liked today's video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I will see you next time.